Today we are going to study the some numerical base on the reheat cycle, reheat cycle. Now let us see the numericals. Uh, numerical one. An ideal reheat cycle utilizes steam as a working fluid. Steam at 100 bar and 400 degrees Celsius is expanded in the high pressure turbine to 15 bar. After this, it is reheated to 350 degrees Celsius at 15 bar and is then expanded in the LP turbine, low pressure turbine, to the condenser pressure of 0.5 bar, determine the thermal efficiency and steam rate. That means this numerical belongs to the reheat ranking cycle. And what is the input given in this case? First of all, the steam having 100 bar and 400 degrees Celsius. That means this numerical belongs to superheated steam because the temperature is greater than 100 degrees Celsius. Then this in this numerical, what happens? The steam enter into the high pressure turbine having a 15 bar and then reheated at a temperature 350 degrees Celsius at a 15 bar again the same bar and temperature 350 and then expanded in the low pressure turbine and the condition pressure is also given and then determine the efficiency of the cycle and steam rate first of all you have to draw the ts diagram and from ts diagram you have to draw the suggestion curve you have to locate the point uh, 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 5 and 5 to 6 and again uh, again draw the hs diagram and then suggestion curve is there and again you have to look at the pressure lines pressure lines from both the cases and temperature lines on the hs and pressure line on the t diagram and then to solve this numerical every time you have to use the steam table from steam table you go to the pressure line p equal to 100 bar and temperature is 4 degree celsius that is the you have to superheated steam uh, line and from this uh, steam table, we, we will get the values of enthalpy, entropy and specific volume. And this, after that, after that, we have to determine the pressure. 15 bar, again, go to the steam table and then you have to get the temperature. Then find out the specific volume, Vf, Hs, Sf. And then Vg, Sfg, Hfg, Sfg, Hg and Hg. And then, you go to the uh, another pressure line 0 0.5 bar again you go to the steam table again find out the temperature and then you have found a specific volume vf then hf then sf that means the vf means specific volume hf means uh, enthalpy and entropy again hfg sfg hg and hg and then find out yes to value 3099.9 kg per kg and in this case, whatever from the TS diagram, you will get the entropy is same. Therefore, process 2 to 3 is entropy, uh, isentropic. Therefore, yes 2 equal to yes 3s. Yes. Then you have to equate it and then find out the value of x3s, that is the dryness fraction from this equation. We will get the x2, x3s equal to 0 0.946. Then from you are getting the dryness fraction, then you have to find out the value of x3. Put the value S3, X3, HFG3. Then put the values, we'll get the S3 is equal to 2590.44 kg per kg. You are getting the value of S3. Then you have to determine the value of enthalpy in the high pressure turbine. Then expansion of steam in the high pressure turbine, that is S2 minus S3. The 3099.9 minus 2590.44 equal to 509.46 kg per kg you are getting the value in the expansion value in the given the high pressure turbine. Then go to the pressure line 15 bar and 3 degrees again this value indicate a superheated zone. That is the superheated zone. Then go to again go to superheated steam table and find out the value of specific volume, enthalpy and entropy. The volume is the 0 0.1, 0 0.18653. Enthalpy is equal to 3148.7. Then yes equal to entropy 7.1044. Then after that you have to find the expansion of steam in the LP turbine. Last time we discussed about the expansion of steam in the HP turbine and we have to find out the expansion of steam in the LP turbine H41 and H5S. That means you have to get in the equation from that one. You have to go to this, this line and you have to find out the equation in this way. Okay. And this is the equation. And this is the equation from this one. Then 
you have to determine H5. We have to determine the H5 that is the enthalpy at point 0.5. Then again the entropy, isentropic process is H4 equal to H5. Therefore, you have to put the values 7.1044 equal to S15 plus X56 SF5. Put the values, we'll get the X5, the driest fraction at point 0.5, we'll get the 0 0.925. Okay, from this x5 we are getting the value of h5, h5 equal to h, hf5, x5, hf g35. Then we will get the value 2473.09 kJ per kg. Then go to the find out the values. Then go to the final value. The expansion of stream in the LP turbine again equal to 3148.7 minus 2473.09 equal to 675.61 kJ per kg. You are getting the value of h5. And also getting the expansion of t and then h6 equal to hf for p3 equal to 0 0.5 bar and h6 equal to 340.6 kg per kg then you have to determine the pump work pump work wp pump work that means pump work is 1 to 6 and again you go to this one this is the pump work is done this is area 1 to 6 it is the pump work area this is the pump work area and then you go to the pump work that would W pump equal to H1S minus S6 equal to V F5 in bracket P3 minus P1. That is the difference between the pressure, uh, between the pressure difference into the specific volume. Then you have to find out the 10.249 kg per kg. You are getting the value of pump work. That is H16 is 350.85 kg per kg. Then you have to find heat supply. How much amount of heat is supplied? The heat supply is nothing but the heat addition takes place in which H2 to H1. The heat addition takes place in this case, yes, to this area that the heat addition takes place, yes, to H1. Then again, heat addition H4, S3, H4, S3 is this, is this area, H4, S3, this area again, the heat addition takes place with the heat that the heating takes place in this case. And then by applying this equation, QH equal to S2 minus H1S plus H4 minus S3S, will get 3099.9 minus 350.85. Plus 3148.7 minus 2590.44 will get the value finally 3307.31 kg per kg. This is the heat supplied in this case. After that, you determine the efficiency. Efficiency, how many efficiency that the work done upon the heat supplied again? Work net equal to W. W means work done at high pressure plus uh, W uh, low pressure minus pump work. The so work done by the turbine and work minus uh, pump work divided by the uh, heat supplied and put the values 509.46 plus 675.61 minus 10.25 divided by 3307.31 will get the 0 0.355. Now we are getting the efficiency 0 0.355 multiplied by 30, 100 multiplied by 100 will get the 35.5 percent efficiency will get it. Then after that, we have to find the steam rate. That is steam rate in the SSC, in the SSC, the 3600 divided by W net equal to 3.064 kg per kilowatt. That is the finally will get the value steam rate 3.064 kg per kilowatt. That means in this numerical, we have uh, understanding the phenomena. This is the numerical belongs to the heat cycle because the heat is added extra and then you have to find efficiency and steam rate. That means in this case, where rankings is also present and heat cycle is also present and uh, pressure line is also given, pressures are different uh, temperatures given and you have to only determine the efficiency and steam rate and this and this is and this is, uh, numerical belongs to the heat cycle. Then we'll take another numerical based on the ranking cycle having a rate. Uh, the another numerical ideal ranking cycle with reheat is designed to operate according to the following specification. Pressure of steam at a high pressure turbine equal to 20 megapascal. Temperature of steam at a high pressure turbine inlet 550 degrees Celsius. Temperature of steam at the end of reheat 550 degrees Celsius. A pressure of steam at the turbine exhaust equal to 15 kilopascal. Quality of steam at the turbine exhaust 90%. Determine first one the pressure of steam in the reheater, second ratio of pump work to the turbine work, and the third the ratio of heat rejection to heat addition, and finally we determine the efficiency. The so first of all we have to oriented concentrate on the numerical what happens in this given this is numerical belongs again belong to the ranking cycle having a reheat 
rigid ranking cycle in this numerical the pressure of steam at high pressure that is the pressure in the high pressure turbine is given 20 mega pascal then temperature of uh, temperature and pressure is then in this case the high pressure turbine the pressure is given temperature is also given 550 degrees celsius again again the temperature of steam is reheat temperature reheat temperature is given that is the temperature given in turbine also given and temperature of reheat is also given and pressure after leaving the turbine is given 15 mega uh, kilopascal and also in this numerical the uh, efficiency turbine efficiency is also given and you have to determine the how much amount of pressure develop in the reheater pressure in the turbine is given but you have to find out the pressure in the reheater what is the pressure in the reheater and you have to determine the pump work ratio of pump work and the ratio of pump work to turbine work and then how much amount of heat rejected and how much amount of heat added added and heat addition and then efficiency the first of all this number belongs to the ranking cycle the heat cycle and uh, first of all to draw the hs diagram you have to suggestion curve is there then point 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 then this is the area this area this is nothing but the reading area is the 3 to 4 or 4 to 5 is there 1 to 2 and this case p2 200 bar t2 500 degrees celsius t4 550 degrees celsius p5 0.15 bar and x5 0.9 and the from molier diagram you can use molier diagram or you can use the steam table no problem and from anyone you have to take the values from molier diagram you will get the value s2 equal to 3370 kJ per kg s3 equal to 2800 kJ per kg s4 equal to 3580 kJ per kg s5 equal to 2410 kJ per kg and x5 equal to 0.915 you are getting also the value from the molar chart and p3 p4 equal to 28 bar then go to this one but in this but given in the data x5 equal to 0 0.9 x5 equal to 0 0.9 and you are getting 0.915 from steam table we find out the value of s6 2 to 6 kilojoule per kg then you have to determine pump work pump work means volume into integration of dp put the value will get the 20.26 kg per kg you are getting the pump work then w pump is h1 minus s6 go to dynamo h1 minus s6 this is the area h1 minus s6 in this case pump work is done in this case okay the h1 this one and uh, you will get h1 equal to 246.26 then the pressure of steam in the reheater 28 bar okay then find out turbine work turbine work means s2 minus s3 and h4 minus h5 s2 minus s3 s2 minus s3 okay and h4 h4 minus h5 h4 minus h5 okay this is this one and in this case the reading is there in this case 3 to 4 okay then put the values we will get the turbine work 1740 kJ per kg and then we have to determine the ratio of pump work to the ratio of turbine work equal to 0 0.0116 that is the 1.2 percent after that you have to find out the ql okay ql means h5 minus s6 equal to 2185 kg per kg then qh equal to h2 minus h1 plus h4 minus h3 put the values will get the 3924 kg per kg and then this is the ratio of ql by heat uh, leaving upon uh, heat QL upon QH equal to 0 0.5565 percent. That is the nothing but the in this case the ratio of the heat added rejection to the heat addition. Finally, we will find out the efficiency of that. Efficiency means nothing but the work output upon heat supplied. Again, W net upon the Q thermal, then 1740 minus 20.26 3924 equal to 0 0.4383 multiplied by 100 will get the 43.8 percent. That means in this numerical, you are getting the efficiency value and you are getting the ratio of this one, W ratio of the pump work upon turbine work. Then finding out the heat rejection, and this is the overall numerical is different from previous because in this case the molar chart is also given, steam table is also given, and a combination 
study of combination of the Mullier chart and stream table and we will find out the values and this is the uh, today this is the end of the today's session today we will discuss about the uh, ranking cycle uh, today we'll the ranking cycle that is the modified ranking cycle the heat cycle the generative cycle the numerical taken the numeric in this numerical we have to excessive use of the stream table and minimum use of the Mullier chart that means Without stream table, we cannot solve this numerical. Every time you have to, all the students, every time you have to solve the numerical by using the stream table and you go to the superheated streamline and then the, take the values from enthalpy, entropy, and specific value. And you have to draw the TS diagram, HS diagram, you write the equations, and then we'll find out the values of the appropriate values. And this is the end of the today's session.